God darling. Hi everyone. <laughs> Excuse her uh, winter. I'm uh, cold. I've had is, a hard day. She is bottled up. No, what's the word? She's bundled up. Have you ever seen anything more sexual in your life? Oh my god. This is how I win him over. This is how she wins him over. Such a day and night from the night before. Oh man. Difference. So yesterday was my Christmas party for work, which I planned, and it was this amazing like wedding yacht and it had like three stories and I had a casino some casino tables brought in and it was open bar and buffet and I think it was fun. It was fun. Um, I always find it interesting at these parties, one, how drunk people get. Oh yeah. Compared to their everyday office life. You're talking oh my about God. the quietest of the quiet coming out going, Woo, dance. I know. And then um, meeting all their significant others. Mm -hmm. And I spent all day, I started getting ready, started drinking at noon. That was the first mistake. Ooh, got the whole glam squad. I got hair done. I got Ooh, makeup. Boy. I wore a fucking white gown. I looked like a bride. I it, just look like a guy in a suit, you know? That's and that People is. at work complained because they're like, oh, I don't want to be dressed up. We dress up every day at work. And I'm like, it's a Christmas party. You're supposed to be dressed up. She loved getting dolled up. I would have made it like a wear sweats, wear workout clothes. That would have been my attire. No, thank you. But yeah, it took all day. And it's so crazy because I <coughs> see these people every day, but I still like, we still have to have a party to see each other again. <laughs> I feel like I worked six days. But I think it was a really fun time. I got fucking wasted. A lot of drinking. I wouldn't even say I drank a lot. I drank he a drank. moderate amount. He drank. He took shots. He was a fun guy. But it wasn't like, oh, I went crazy, yo. I'm not going to try and act like that. But. I did. Like, there was no water served on that boat. So we had no one. I don't think anyone who was drinking had oh, a single drink of water since 4 p.m. So that means from 4 p.m. to whatever it ended, 12. Nine. Well, that nine then went to we the went bar to after. We went to the bar after, which was even no worse No one had mistake. any water. Everyone was just drinking alcohol for the liquid. Even this they ate the dinner. This is my water. This is the blood of Christ. Well, it looks more like the urine of Christ. She's holding a glass of white wine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, then we went to the bar and everyone's just kept feeding each other shots. That's when you know it's, oh, it was it's so took bad. a turn. And you we were apparently sharing a beer between like five people just passing two around beers. two beers oh no one necessarily gross. wanted it because everyone was hitting that point but then everyone's got that like no you can't waste it go drink it bro Ugh. and so everyone kept passing it around and we just kept drinking it apparently i just hope i didn't say anything fucking stupid that's the worst thing at a holiday party everyone's <laughs> wasted I didn't want to be the one that's like, oh man, Alexis was at the holiday party so wasted. She was saying stupid shit. So hopefully I was okay. We'll see how it is tomorrow. Oh my God, pray for me. Pray Ugh. For me. But everyone's pretty hurt today. Yeah, where I literally woke up. I had my dress half on my ass and Joe sent me a video of me in Snap. bed with one shoe she on. Had one shoe on and she was caved under the covers. <laughs> She couldn't get out. It was a disaster. Apparently, I came home and my roommate had a friend over, and I was like, "What's happening here?" And like, was really aggressive and didn't remember her friend and was like introducing myself, even though we've met before. Oh my god! I know. But then this morning, oh, it was so bad. From being so flawless, now look at me. I'm, this is what alcohol does to you kids. I have a yeah. fucking bruise under my eye. I don't know why. I find it so funny with girls in particular. Not, not as much guys, although it can happen. I love how, you know, you see a girl, the girls get so dolled up. Mm -hmm. You know, whether they love it or not, and they look great, they look flawless, they look amazing. And then you just, if you're the boyfriend, you see the 180. Oh, well, everyone's her boyfriend today because everyone's seeing it right now. Yeah. The 180 of just like, this is me when I have a fuck. Uh. And you know what? We need, I want to make a pledge that we oh. a one day a year where girls and guys, whoever, shouldn't have to give a fuck. No makeup, no makeup Mondays or something like that where they can just I'm come sure in like this. I'm sure people already do that. I mean, I'm it's just... starting to happen more. At least Keys did her own thing, whole uh -huh. thing like that. Well, but... look at you with the pop culture thing. <laughs> you know, change the name of the podcast here. Um, just in <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun. And I woke up this morning and had to go, woke up. There was dog shit all over my bathroom. My dog, clearly, I don't think we walked her. I don't even know. 
I feel I'm a terrible mother. There was shit everywhere. Everywhere. And I did walk her. But I oh, feel but like I, she got diarrhea. Stuff. I think she was stressed because I was a disaster. So then I go into the <laughs> bath. I take three Advil. I'm like, okay, I got this. I'm okay. And I go into the bathtub and I just throw up all over myself. I threw Jesus. the Advil up. I was just in there like shaking. I was like, well, this is the end for me. But I survived. I spent all day just with terrible pain. My head was throbbing. I couldn't get up. This like this isn't me I bragging. It was had, just so bad. I had work in the morning and I came all I, I had a bag of Cheetos. I felt good after eating a bag of Cheetos. Ooh. For some reason that just felt yeah. right. It felt like what I needed. Well and Joe helped. found Pedialyte for me. You were a fucking lifesaver. Yeah, we had a little packet and that's He brought it. me water and then this is my hangover cure is number one. I always have water in Advil until I throw it up. Fuck Jesus. And then I get Del Taco. Del Taco, classic chicken burrito. It's so good. I don't know why. It just like soothes my stomach. And then come with queso fries. Ooh, mama. That will soak up any bad shit in your stomach. Wow. You had it. You liked it. I did. I think it was the only one that ate the queso fries. I don't even think you touched well, those. Because I was beyond sick today. Once I throw up too much, like I can't eat that much or I'm afraid I'll throw up again. <laughs> so now here's my second technique to curing yourself retox 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 which means drinking again to feel better hair of the dog i guess is what they call it of the dog i I call it retoxing my solution was cheetos Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i had that before my workout i was just feeling lousy all day going into the workout i just need water and electrolytes but my third hangover cure hopefully i'll get later is the d Oh, wow. Wow, dude. Everyone try it. Everyone <laughs> try it. I swear see it that works. Coming. You know, Ooh, that's gonna. Oh, blushy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, boy. Well, I mean, it re- releases endorphins. She gets those you toxins sweat. released, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's that lymphatic system drain. It gets. Oh, it helps too. Like, you know, the Sunday shame you get after a night of drinking where you're like, God, am I a fuck up? Like, Oh, like all the, de- you know, alcohol is a downer or it'll make you depressed. So you get that Sunday shame. You're like, God, I'm a fucking idiot. Like I probably said stupid shit. I did say stupid shit. I always say stupid shit, but you know, this, the sex will make me feel better about life. I'll be like, I'll be like, I'm a goddess. I'm a goddess. Joseph's going to have to put a bag over my head. Oh, wowie, wowie. <laughs> I don't even want to look at myself. I don't know how you're going to have sex with me. This snowboard dress looking goddess over here. I'm going to leave the beanie on. <laughs> oh my god. She's got, for those who aren't watching, she's... It's like a big poof on her head. She's got a big head. poof on her head. She's, <laughs> she's bobbing her head. Oh, I'm going to wow. leave it on for fun. Ooh, we'll do a fantasy where I'm a snowboarder. And what am I? I don't know. I'm your uh, ski instructor. Ooh, ooh, a ski instructor. Let's sexual. Down, let's go down a different black diamond. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll take the double black diamond. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Well, the wine's working. So I've done two out it. of three. Two out of three. <laughs> it always comes back to Joe and the D. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> I guess her retox is kicking in. You know that? She's still feeling it from last night. Oh god, that's part of the retox. Oh my god. I do love how the one cool thing about, well usually with work uh, and drunkenness is everyone's like crazy, they finally let loose, and it usually shifts the friendships at work. All of a sudden it's like, hey you, I remember with college at least that happened a lot. Mm -hmm. I would see guys around campus or at the gym or in class, and it's always like no one really says anything to each other. Mm -hmm. Then I bump into them at a party, they're like, oh, you're, what's your name, man? Oh, you're so cool, dude. I know. So I'm glad it happened and we all like bonded for sure. I bonded with way more people. And it's also nice now that they know you. They got to know you. Now they know Joe. You're not just like some gym douche or something. What the hell? What? I know, man. And you could explain what you do for work? God, it's so hard for me to explain it. I cannot explain it. Well, you see, here at Labs, we use biohacking technology and the most updated technology to um, upgrade your mind. Oh, God, why don't you upgrade this puss? Oh, boy, I'll give you a little electromagnetic field for that. Wow! (laughs) 
That was actually a genuine recommendation, but uh, oh, you know. I don't know. It sounded or it's both ways. I'll take what I can get <laughs> at this point. Oh boy, that was both sexual and nerdy <sighs> at the same time. I think I need to stop. You know what I liked? Oh yeah. <laughs> I got to meet all the significant others. Yes. So I formed a significant other crew. You did. That's right. We had to bond because we don't know anyone. Y'all are talking and doing your thing. Playing, oh, you, you played roulette there? Yes, I was doing pretty well until the one guy won $3,000. Oh, no, he just, at the end, chaos, just bet it all. I guess, on, yeah. Uh, he bet it all and he got and it. And he lucked out, but that so, was cool. But yeah, it was really fun. I love planning this kind of stuff. Even though I'm a, a little stressed beforehand, it ended up being really fun. How did you like meeting the uh, significant others? Did I love that. Have you met them before? I've met a couple, but no, it's so interesting to see like, the dynamic when they're with their person and like I don't know I just it's nice now that I actually can put a face to the name because you know we were like oh my boyfriend blah 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 my boyfriend but now I can be like oh yeah I could just oh Joe it's that yeah jerk off that wore the blue suit I remember him yeah you look handsome in your blue suit well you know it's just, just not at all um it is it, holiday parties are one of those things where like you said you're like you're already working. The last thing you want to do is take your free day and, and use spend your it with these again. people. And you, it's one of those things you never want to go on, but then you're happy you did. Yeah. So it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Like the high school reunion. But no, I, I was actually excited for the party. But it's a little difficult because I work with all like tech people. So some, you know, I was nervous because I didn't think anyone would dance, but the significant others dance. We got people to dance. Yeah, go on. <clears throat> Alexis was definitely dancing. I gotta post that to. Uh, oh yeah, my game. I did my game style. Alexis did her thing. We let everyone see her white dress, her mm -hmm. craziness, her getting everyone else crazy. Oh god, I hope I didn't embarrass myself. <laughs> Whatever. I am who I am. If they don't like it, they can fire me, and I'll find someone who does. Wow. Well, you know, that's one way to look at it. What? I mean, I love my job, but. It's just at the end of the day, it's a job. So, mm -hmm. how hard was planning it? Because we're it having that so issue at easy. my work right now. That we have one girl trying to plan it, and she's got some ideas rolling around. The boat was so easy. The boat did everything. I literally finished the whole planning in three phone calls. Is it a like, pricey? You don't have to name the price, but is it a pricey thing to book? I'll just say the boat itself it includes the food. Is about includes food and open bar was um, ten grand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's out of ideas for me planning my company's holiday party. Well, it's hard. Renting a venue is costly. Yeah, that's a lot. I'll so, just do an Airbnb. That's cheaper. Yeah, and then you can just pay per head for the catering and the alcohol. Yeah. But that makes sense. I, you know, I like to do things elevated next level. Yes, she does. So now I don't know what I'm going to do fucking next year. You're going to have to get a helicopter and fly everyone to Catalina or something. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> No, it's, I can't be that dressed up on a helicopter. I mean, be cold. I don't know. I'll figure it the fuck out. I'll make it more epic. If I do a cheaper venue, then I can have more like activities, which I think will be fun for them. Mm, true, true. So. Okay. Well. Okay. Can I go just be hungover now? And waste away and watch TV. Yes. Mm. She will continue her Netflix Christmas movies. Oh my God! You know you gotta love these Christmas movies. So stupid. Home ta small town girl, can't find love in the big city. So stupid. And then she's dating some rich asshole. Did I already talk about this? And then she goes back home, falls in love with a farmer. So lame. And, but the people but and the Christmas are so spirit. gorgeous on those shows. Oh so yeah, lame. Joe found one he liked today. Oh, she was so pretty. Whew. Whew, I'm still thinking about it. Well, I'll pretend not to as, be her. Not as pretty as this snowball right here. <laughs> this little yak <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. That'll be our that. fantasy tonight. Oh, I'll boy. be the the Christmas the snow instructor, or snow yak. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, how do you know my needs so well? <laughs> oh god. All right, okay. we got too far. Good Always. night, people. Good night. <laughs>